So my name is Milan Czerny, I work with SAP Global Sponsorships and um, I'm managing eSports and tennis for SAP. So team-focused um, data and analytics tools is a, a huge opportunity even for eSports teams. Um, in traditional sports it's common to, uh, to do these things. Um, the big disadvantage um, compared to eSports is that traditional sports have to be digitized first um, to be able to analyze data. Whereas in eSports, typically all the data is already there. Um, it just needs to be harvested and then um, companies like SAP can make sense of it. Um, so that's something that we, um, that we tackle, that we approach together with Team Liquid. And um, we feel like we're only scratching the surface at this point. Um, there's such a wealth of data um, available in any game. Um, and the first game title that we focused on is Dota 2. And um, we've already come to um, some really good things that we can, that we can do with a team for the team, um, go really deep into uh, the very granular data coming out of the game, in-game data. Um, and provide some interesting insights, you know, save the team a lot of time in match preparation, um, in opponent scouting, um, in also the analysis of their own performance and learning from their own mistakes and uh, becoming better players and a better team. I think it's important to understand in esports that um, each game title has a really distinct um, and um, almost separate community which has their own needs um, and if you want to enter that space you need to cater to those needs and requirements. Um, each game provides an ecosystem which is different um, in its demographics as well, so you're talking different you know, um, gender distribution, you're talking different age structure, um, you're talking different uh, levels of skills and also skill sets of the people. Um, the, the overarching mission for SAP is um, to position the brand and the company to a particular audience, which is tax savvy, which is young, um, and um, make the brand SAP and the company SAP attractive to them um, as an employer um, because there's really a lot of talent hidden, maybe not so much hidden, but um, you know, contained in that ecosystem. Um, so for us, Dota 2 is a really good fit for that. Um, but there might be different use cases for other brands where maybe a Rocket League or a FIFA could be, could be more fitting, um, but you're definitely looking at a different kind of demographic there. The, the key difference is indeed that in esports everything is digital by nature. Um, in traditional sports it's not, so it needs to be digitized um, before you can analyze it. Um, on the other side, traditional sports and analytics in traditional sports are, um, have come a long way. So there's a lot of things happening in that space. Um, the sports analysts and even entire teams and organizations um, have the sole purpose of, you know, harvesting and digesting and querying data so it can help the athletes and the teams perform better. Now, this is a trend which is there in esports for sure. Um, it seems like esports is more in the in the beginning of that of that process, and considering the amounts of data that are there in esports. Um, there's a lot more potential in what you can do. So technology um, aspects like you know, machine learning, artificial intelligence, how do you deal with these big amounts of data? You don't always know what you're asking for until you see it. Um, these things can be done a lot better if you have a bigger amount of data available to you and you can process that and you can work with it. It's not about, in the end, it's not about the amount of data anymore, it's about finding the relevant bits and pieces of it. Um, and so this, although there are similarities and kind of connections between tra how traditional sports and esports approach data analytics, um, esports in the long run is gonna have an advantage in that, um, in that area.
the biggest, well, I wouldn't say the biggest one lesson. Um, the, uh, the entire time that I've been working on esports and also SAP as a company has been in the esports space was a big learning, right? Um, every day we learn something new. Um, maybe one of the one of the most significant lessons, learnings um, was that, and that was very much in the beginning, was that we figured out that this community, this ecosystem wants to be listened to. Um, you need to find out what are the needs, what are the requirements, what do people actually want um, in order to interact with them, in order to, to give them something that really adds value. This is what we're here for um, at SAP. We want to use our technology and, um, and provide benefit and provide added value to players, to teams, but also for the fan base and for viewers on, on streams. Um, and in order to do so, eSports offers an amazing way to get in touch with that community and be really interactive with them. Um, and that for us was a big learning in the beginning. And, um, and we like that fact because you get, we also get feedback in a very, very direct way. And um, um, so that's what we, what we really like and learned.